for the vote game. Hit me like this. Stand up, let it go. Subscribe, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 44 gang. What's happening, man? It's your boy, Hemi Life 44. Back with another video. Man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, come and subscribe, and browse. We're going up our 2020, man. Y'all don't forget, I am giving away a pedal box. You know what I'm saying? I've been saying this now in my videos. We're giving away a pedal box, man. Pedal Box USA has teamed up to give away a pedal box to the supporters, man. How you get in it? You gotta go on my website, get some merch. Uh, however many merchandise you buy, however much, that's how many times you get in it. And you, you know what I'm saying? You know how it works. I've been saying this now in my videos. But you gotta be following me and Pedal Box underscore USA on Instagram. And my Instagram is hemilife 44 you gotta be following both. If you don't have an Instagram, make sure you let us know that in the uh, spot where you buy your shirt, where you pay for your shirt, it's a spot where you can type down there. Just do that, let me know you don't have an Instagram. Um, but yeah, man, so make sure you do that. Go to himandlife44.com, get your merch anyway. But for those that don't, if you if it's something on the site that you don't like, but you still want a pedal box, then call this number down below, get the pedal box, man. Use my discount, you will get money off. It's a lot cheaper. It's way better than a pedal commander, definitely. Uh, I do another video on the pedal box and all that eventually, man. I done done a lot. I do another one though for y'all for new people that don't know what it is. But today, I am back on my review type time. Y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all know that I started my YouTube channel reviewing cars, so I gotta keep giving y'all that here and there. I'm back on that type of time. I'm here today with another legendary vehicle, man. One that I am interested in. My wife also love this vehicle she always wanted one and this is my first time being able to review one drive one um i rode in one but other than that this is my first time being able to just walk around it and show y'all and me look at it as well you know what i mean so without further ado y'all make sure y'all like this video hit the like button man don't forget to hit the like button like this video and let's get right into this review of this range rover man yes so check it out, check it out, check it out, man. This is the Range Rover, man. 2017 Land Rover Range Rover HSE. You know what I'm saying? HSC, man, y'all see it right here. HSC TD6. You know what I mean? Land Rover on the back. I'm gonna walk all the way around so y'all can get them. Let me scoot back a little bit. Boom, that's how I scoot back, you know what I'm saying? iPhone 11, baby, yes, uh, That's how I scoot back with it, but Walk around, give y'all a little tour of the vehicle. You know what I mean? Let y'all see every little function and component. You know what I mean? I'm on my TI type time today with my big words. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, but this vehicle is nice, man. I drove it over here. I love it. Um, I know I say that on most of the cars that I review, but honestly, most of the cars that I review are cars that I'm interested in anyway. Unless, you know, I review, like I might have to review a car like that one day. Let me, I might have to review one of them one day, man. You never know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I got to review our vehicles, man, for people. People are interested in our type of vehicles, so I just can't be biased and just get y'all what I'm interested in. You know what I mean? So I got to show our vehicles. So I grabbed this Range Rover today. You know what I mean? Let y'all look at this. Somebody might be into, interested in a Range Rover. So here it is. So. Talk a little bit about this vehicle, man. Continental tires, man. 22 inch wheels on her. I like these wheels. I actually like these wheels, man. I, I I really do. I really do. The tires are a little wide, too, as well. Let me see if I can tell y'all the width of this tire. It's a 275. 275, 40, 22. So that tire's a little, it got a little thickness to the at the back. You know what I mean? For SUV. You know what I mean? But this is a Range Rover, man. This is not your regular degular suv man i like the look i call them fish gills right here you know what i'm saying them little fish gills you know how the fish got the gills on the side of their body 
You know what I'm saying? It's a little fish gear. That's what I call it. But headlights, man. It says Range Rover in there. It says Range Rover in the headlights. Um, I like the front. I like. The, I'm, I'm a Range Rover fan, man. I'm a Range Rover fan. I always like the Range Rover, especially the new ones. But me personally, I like the bigger one. They got one that's bigger than this one. That one like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. But this one is. This one is a nice size, though. This one is a nice size. I like it. Let's go around to the back. Y'all got to forgive me. Man. I'm eating this Jolly Rancher. It's so good to me right now. HSE, HSE TD6, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it. Hey, the TD6. A lot of people might not know this. This is a turbo diesel. This stands for turbo diesel V6. That's what that stands for. Turbo diesel V6, man. It's a, um, this is a turbo type diesel v6 engine in here it produces like 250 horses 254 to be exact which driving this vehicle man it actually feels like a little more than that because it do get up and go like it really shocked me when i found out this was only 256 horses you know what i mean because it really do get up and go and most importantly y'all gotta come to forest lane cdjr man this is where you get all your vehicles from man all your vehicles they can order whatever Y'all come per ask for Rico, man. Tell them I sent you. They'll take care of you. I promise you that. I've got plenty of subscribers that have bought vehicles from here. And I done talked to plenty of them. Because every time one of my subscribers buy a vehicle, they call me. And I actually talk to that subscriber. You know what I mean? They let them talk to me. And I'll listen to that. So y'all come up here, man. Get y'all vehicles. A lot, of, a couple of them I done pulled up on. If I'm in the area, I pull up while you up here buying the car. So, uh, yes, sir. But let me give y'all the rundown. Y'all know how to do it. Y'all can pile this at any moment. Pile this at any moment, man. You know what I mean? So, hey, look, bird. Hey, man. Can't be doing that on I'm reviewing. So we got Range Rover right here. Range Rover on the match. Nice little match. Nice little carpet in here. That match the interior. This is what I do like about this vehicle. Everything in here match. Y'all know how sometimes you may have a vehicle that has all this may be black. All interior black or something, you come up here and that's a whole nother off color. Everything in this vehicle match, man, with the big moon roof in there. Everything in here is the same color except for this, which the brown goes with this beige and with all that. Got wood grain right here. Looking real nice, real, real good, man. Feel real good too. Yes, Lord. Um Meridian uh sound system, which does sound good. Got your little compartments right here. This is where you control the seats. This part, all this. Y'all know how they go up, back. They do have armrests in here. Do have armrests. I don't know what this do. I don't know what they do. Hey, look at him in that charger. Hey, y'all didn't see that, but y'all heard it. I, I was finna review that. That's a 2020 scat pack. They got a pretty dealership right now. I was finna review that, but that's the maintenance man. He uh he be driving the cars doing that sometimes. Me and him pretty cool, man. So anyway, back to this. Headrest do go up and down. You know what I mean? Y'all know how to let it down. Push this little button right here. Then push it down. It goes down. But these seats are big comfortable, man. It says Land Rover on the radio. Cause this is a Land Rover, Range Rover, you know what I mean? Open up the back. So y'all this space, man. These seats do go back as well, as y'all can see right here. It comes up and it goes back right there. We got a little space back here. Wood grain right there. You can control the AC and all that back here as well. We got compartment right here. I mean, <clears throat> this how you, you know what I'm saying? Cup holders. People that's new to my car reviews, that dark train go by every single time I'm doing a review. It never fails. I've never did a review and it wasn't interrupting my review. You know what I mean? But anyway, we back to this, man. This look real good in here. It's roomy. I love that roof, man. That roof go all the way to the back, bro. I love that. I love it. Oh, well, let me show you all this, too. I ain't got to show you on the other side. You got speakers back here, too, right here. Then you got down there as well so it sounds good in here man 
Let's pop this um pop this back here. Of course that goes up by itself. Then you got this part where you let that down, push that, that comes down. You know what I mean? So I like it, man. A lot of space back here. Of course, you got the little cover you can pull this over. Our SUVs pretty much had it for the most part. You got speakers right there on both sides. They got your mats back here. And when you want to let this back up, just push that back up. Oh, okay. Okay. But right here, you can also control the seats. You can control these seats right here. I guess it don't, it just moved, but it didn't go. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> it moved a little bit. Here we go. So you can control that right here. Bring it back, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna take it all the way down. I'm just showing y'all what it do. And of course, there's a button back here somewhere that lets this down, which will be right here. Push, once you get out the way, that will go down. Forest Lane CDJR, man, y'all know where to come if y'all want this video. So of course, the turbo diesel V6 sounds good, right? But it's nothing impressive on, under here to look at. You know what I mean? You, you really wouldn't be able to tell it's none of that. You know what I mean? So it's nothing, it's nothing pretty about it, to be honest. But it's a Range Rover. So y'all know what it is. It ain't nothing cheap. It is a nice SUV. It does move a little bit, which we finna get in here and we finna find it out. But uh, let's get in. We're gonna talk about the inside a little bit. Let me turn this on. Push start, of course, right here at the top. Let me let my window up. Windows up here. You know what I'm saying? They up here. Got your little speakers right here. Make sure I got the AC on. But uh, yeah, so all your buttons right here. And this actually, if I turn the car off now, this will go down. It'll go down. And once you turn the car on, it comes up. But you know that's the gear, the turn, turn knob. If y'all don't know about anything about these high dollar cars, foreign cars, man, they speed almost always show odd numbers. Instead of 20, 40, 60, 80, they show 10, 30, 50, 70, 90. They show the odd, they show the odd numbers. Um, nice, nice dash. It's okay. It's okay. Let me turn this AC down. No, that's kind of loud. It's it's okay. This 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 right here is okay. It's okay to me. Um Right here is where you open this, push that, that pops open. You know what I mean? I'm guessing I can push it back and it close back on its own. It supposed to, but it's not. So we're gonna do it ourselves. But hey, what don't come in most cars is a CD player. It is a CD player. So that's good for everybody that still got their old jams, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. Oh Lord. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to pull it, and it's just a pushback, and it comes up more wood grain. Like I said, some I'm uh, armrest right here. Got your armrest. Got your compartments in here. You sent somebody got a chip in here. They actually left a chip in here, bro. Somebody left a whoever had this car left a SD card in, a SIM card in. Here. But uh, HDMI right here, USBs right there. And of course, you can move that and. Wow, bro, you can literally put a uh, uh, man, that is deep. I can't show y'all how deep that is. That's deep, that's a lot of space. A lot of space, and like I said, I showed y'all the back, man. There's plenty of room back there. There's plenty of room back there. Air vents right above the heads on both sides, right above the heads on both sides. Big roof, you know what I'm saying? Of course, this is the screen for the roof right here. You push that, and it comes. Y'all see it coming. Y'all see it coming on up? Yes, sir. Uh, and that's all it is. It's not a dark, it's not a uh like a dark cover that covered it. So you still get a little light in here, which is dope. I like it. Y'all know me, man. When I drive these vehicles, I drive these vehicles. You know what I'm saying? This reverse camera looks amazing, bro. It's real clear and crisp and all that. But that's what you gotta expect when you got you paying this amount of money for a car. I don't know the exact price on this car, but y'all can always go to go to the website. Far as like CDJR, uh, and figure out the price. But this one, I don't want to. This ain't the highest Range Rover though. 
They, they get higher than this. They actually get faster than this. They got Range Rovers that's 550 horses, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they range between 250 and 550, depending on which one you get. 500 some horses, which is like, if this is 254, that 500 definitely makes a difference. Let me. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a nice little pickup right there. Nice little pickup, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to show y'all, and I'm not gonna flow it. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna tell y'all how fast I'm going. I'm gonna tell y'all how fast I'm going, so, <clears throat> so y'all can get a, uh, a, a little example. I'm going eight miles an hour right now. I hit it. Now I'm at 45, so it ain't it ain't slow, but it ain't no fast type vehicle, which is an SUV, man. So you can't expect that, but it gets the job done. That was definitely enough for me. You know what I'm saying? If I bought an SUV, that's like really, if I bought an SUV, I wouldn't expect for them to be the way they are now. A lot of the SUVs come with a lot of power now, so they're a lot faster than what those old SUVs was. Of course, they not racing race trucks or cars or nothing like that. They don't have those type of engines, but they definitely pick up. <laughs> they definitely pick up. But this wood grain will feel so good, bro. Y'all see that wood right there? That feels so good, man. That's that real type, you know what I'm saying? That feels good. And it's comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I'm comfortable right now, bro. You ride good. It's a luxury car, what you expect? Ooh, that's that hot, that's that, that's that Benz that's about 115,000. That's that big boy right there. But, uh, yeah, it rides good, man. But it's, a, like I said, it's a luxury vehicle, so you can only, only expect that when you buy it. Um, I like it. Let me open this. I'll be left my car mix in here. Now we can close a little bit. I like it, bro. Turn signals, make sure everything works. Everything working here properly for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's wood grain all on the doors down here. Wood grain on the back doors. That light is on back there. I don't know why. Oh, some, I must accidentally push that light on. But, uh, man, I, I actually, him and wife actually want a Range Rover. She always wanted a Range Rover. We actually went and priced some before. This was before, like, we can even afford anything like this. You know what I mean? Now, if she, like, want to rain, I could actually buy this vehicle right now, to be honest. But, uh, this, it's like no point in buying, bro, it's no point in buying, um, if you're trying to get an SUV, right, because of family purposes, it's no point in buying this type of SUV because it's still only five rows five seats it still only fit a driver passenger and three people right there that's the same as my dodge charger so it's like no point in buying this type of suv if you're doing it for a family type thing you know what i mean so that's why i say we looking into like the the rango the rango actually have seven you know what i'm saying it's a, a seven passenger vehicle you can fit three in the back two right here and two right here because it's three roads but these type of vehicles bro they suvs but they got the same capacity for as uh passengers as a car one two three four five and back there is that's just your trunk it's just all inside the car with you ain't no different you know what i mean so it's like no it's pointless to buy these for suvs for family purposes you know what i mean so if you want that then you gotta get a durango you can't get no track hog you can't get no jeep cherokee grand cherokee compass you can't get none of that you gotta get a Suburban, or Escalade, uh, 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 um, uh, Expedition, uh, um, what else? What else? The Durango, like I said. If you want that, you gotta, you gotta go there for that. You know what I'm saying? You can't do this. But this is a nice vehicle. I actually like this. Um, but I think him and wife is more into the sports car thing, thing now. She more into the the sport car type deal now, so I don't know if me buying like if I wanted to, if I wanted to surprise her with this, 
I don't know if it'll be like a, oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, thank you. She'll accept it and be happy, but it'll be more like, man, I kind of wanted a wide body red eye or something, a scat or something. You know what I'm saying? Give me a wide body scat pack. Give me a haircut or something now. Now that's the type of time she on. But uh, I'm pulling back up at the dealership, man. I'm finna park this joker. I'm finna park this thing jack, like my boy Miles just say. Ooh, got some whips up here. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But uh, I'm gonna go right here. Why you running, you big fella? Don't run. Oh, he running for. Why you running? Well, boy, you ain't gonna make on nobody track team, bro. You can't make it on track team like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna make it on nobody track team. Well, I'm a fool with these cars, boy. When it comes to bagging up these cars and driving them like this, like I do. I'm a fool like I am, though. <laughs> nah, keep beeping. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm doing. I'm a fool with it. I think I'm perfect with it. You hear me? I'm perfect with it. Boom, straight like this. But, uh, yes, sir. So, y'all, be sure to like this video, man. Comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the Range Rovers. Do y'all like them? Have y'all been fans of them? Now he looking at me. Yeah, I was watching you run. You ain't got no juice, brother. Do y'all like the Range Rover? What y'all think, man? Um, like I said, Hemi wife loves the Range Rover. She always wanted the Range Rover. But if I was to get her one, it'll be the bigger one. You know what I mean? Like, I want that big one. I don't want the, I don't want this one. I want that big one. I want that 550 horse. You know what I'm saying? I want all that. Give me all that. But yeah, so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Do y'all like it? Do you not like it? What you don't like about it? What you do like about it? Y'all let me know, man. But I'm back on my review type time. They got some 20, they got some new color 2020s up here. I thought they was, uh, well, they thought they was 2021s, but they wouldn't. They turned out, they just 2020s. I might touch on one of them again. Uh, I'm really waiting on some new stuff. They said they got like 60 cars about to come through. So I'm really waiting on something new to touch down so I can go on and review it. Y'all know I don't review every single thing it is to review. So if I jump back in another 2020, chance it is, I know how to review that before. But I might do it again. You always get new subscribers, man. You know what I'm saying? People watching your channel and I listen to it. But, uh, yeah, man. So that's going to be a wrap, man. I appreciate y'all watching this video, man. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, browse. We're going to all 2020, man. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to all my videos, man. In the meantime, in between time to the next video, how's your boy? I'm out. Yes, sir.